Hi, folks, this is Jeff here with 30 Minute Trader, Fast Track Forex Trader. Today, I'm very fortunate to have Stuart with me. Other members may be coming on shortly, uncertain. We've had a couple of call offs. So, the important people are the people I'm with right now. Stuart, welcome. Hi, thank you. Welcome, Jeff. Got someone else joining? It's great. Welcome. The link's been posted. Uh, so far, five people have liked it. We have Christine, Rob, Richard, Glenn liked it already. It's just went up. And hi, AS. How are you doing? Hi, this is Jeff. I see two initials, AS. Pleased to meet you. My name is Jeff. What's your name, please? Can you, uh, if you can't hear, just put a comment in the chat below. If you can't hear, put the comment in the chat below. So, Stuart, what were you saying, my friend? Yeah, so I was saying, um, yeah, I, had, I went through that the homework. Calls, by the way. Yeah. Okay, I yeah, so I went, I went through what, you know, I re-watched day one and day two yesterday, which was good because actually watching it again, uh, I learned, you know, there's things I missed the first time, like listening, it's really, yeah, we know that happens, but it was so obvious to me, obviously, because this is a completely new topic for me, so I know nothing about trading. So last night I watched day one and day two again. Um, so I picked up some more info, which is really useful. Um, so what was I say? Yeah, target. So I guess the only question I really had was, obviously then you started to introduce about looking left in the trend lines, but also ID the targets. Yes. Um, and then you talked about that the candles, which you put the circle around. Yes. Um, yeah, so mine just kind of, you know, you said there was like, what's I wrote it down? You look at there's a number of black candles and one grey one, so things yes. could go wrong. Just wouldn't mind understanding a bit more about okay. that if that's appropriate at this time, but certainly. Well, let me just see where we're at, first of all. The good news is it's yeah. only you and me today, so let's just see what we're doing. Yeah, exactly. Let's Thank you. This. So I'm aware it's only 30 minutes. This is an introduction for the people to see the trainings for them. You're You've actually done more homework, I believe, than everybody else, which is good. Today yeah, no, it's definitely understanding the market change direction on okay. time frames, entries, and homework. So we can do that quite easy. So we go to the exact same pair. I'm going to go back to the daily time frame. I'm going to do this here, and I'm going to remove everything from the chart again. And as you can see. I did the exact same line. Oh, go along. That's something else. The exact same line. That's where we were. Yeah. Thinking back to where we were. Exactly. Do you, do you yeah. recall? Can you see my yeah, screen? That's screen? It. Yeah, oh, God. Yeah, I definitely recall. It's, it's imprinted in my mind. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, so yes. I'm doing it so that way people can't see I'm, I'm, I'm being yeah. shifty. It's really clear, transparent. Okay, it's into one hour time frame. Mm -hmm. So, what I'll do is because of that, you have to extend that. Yeah. Beyond. Yeah, that's what I noticed when I was playing around with doing this similar thing. I went to the one day I could really extend and then came back to the lower time. Said, break and retest. As you can see, it broke and retest there. Might be yeah. a slightly different position from yesterday, but it was round about there. Mm -hmm. And then I said we go down to the 15 minute. And by doing this, you can actually look for more of a, an entry. Because the okay. way I trade, you're in and out, you take your profit, you put it either in your pocket, your broker, your prop firm, yeah. or whatever it is you're putting in. Yeah, because that was it. So the 15 minute helps you identify those, as you called yeah. them, like little, yeah. I don't, they're, yeah, there's like little peak trophy things. Yeah. yeah. And then go down to the five. Let's see, you want to go down to this. You might be happy with the 15, you might want to come down yeah. to the five or even the one. Look at the one. Thing is, this, this is what I'm saying to Stuart. You can get sniper entries mm. on this. Yeah. You can get so precise. It's powerful. So when you see it coming down, like so you put yeah. that above it, it changes yeah. direction. Good. You're then looking for it to go back to this line. Which it did. Yeah. It does it. You see it changing direction, and there you go. This is the easy way to, this is not using any indicators, not using any special mm. sauce. It's just using the candles and a couple of slides. Let's not overcomplicate it. Mm. 
And I think it went down to here and it was about 5% upwards. Now, what's happened since then, it's, it has continued dropping down. Yeah. And with a little bit of pull back up now. So it's coming back up. Guess what it's going to come to? That line. Is Absolutely. What... That's what it's going to come to. So I might do a bit of dancing around here first. This is not another but a target here and a target here. But getting back to what you asked, you asked something very specific. Yeah. And then you, you ask the question again, please. Yeah. So yesterday we were looking at the candle. So we looked at the target areas, as you said. But and then, but you. One you minute, you didn't I? Yeah. yeah. No problem. And then you. You focused on. Then you said, look at the camera, and there was a there was a group which you put your red circle around, where I think say five were black, and then one was grey. So that yes. that collection, um, and you said, therefore, it, you know, you could take that information when you look at where you are today, like where you are, say, in the you know what's happening in life. And you said it could impact, it could go the could go the wrong way. Um, obviously, I don't, I don't, I don't think it did, but. It's just interesting. I was wanting to understand what was it about that group of candles which you would make that statement on? Do you know what I mean? Because at the moment, for me, this is just candles, you know, yeah. they're just candles, pretty colours, oh, if that okay. helps. Let me first of all come, Rob. Thanks for being here, Rob. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Um, it's a few people like. So let's remove this here, go back to the initial, well, this is back to the exact same thing. I just want to highlight we have yeah. a black candle, a black candle, yeah. one, this little white one, green one there. Yeah. Black, 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 black. Oh, so a similar kind of thing there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Let me look back up to here. Yeah. And then I project into the future. Oh, my God. Price reverses. Oh. Mm -hmm. So what have you, with that little example, what have you learned already? that within like the the solid black ones where you have the lighter colors then that can indicate the future that there is you know there is a another one of those lines which could create the yeah. let me use yeah. the term support and resistance yeah part of my 30 minute trader software actually yeah. highlights these oh, okay it's these red and put lots a lot of box around them so when you draw mm. that all you when you see that all you do with the software you go here and you do that. And hallelujah, it drops. Yeah. And it's better Which is really important. Drops. Yeah, if you if I'd seen that coming down and then the change coming up, I may enter the trade there, but very quickly you see that it's changed, isn't it? So I may still get, I don't know, a half a percent or a quarter of a percent, but yeah, yeah okay, I get that now. So well, when well, I'm so looking to so start to look, yeah. So it's coming down, it's black, it's black, black it's black. white. Yeah, and then a similar it's black, not black. always the case, just so you know, but yeah. something else happens. Because oh, yeah, and then you can see to the right it happening. Yeah, that's what you mean. Yeah. And you're like, because there's other things that happen, and I don't want to. Yeah. This is just an introduction, and a lot would go over your head, but in there mm -hmm. is something. Rob, do you know what that is there? There's a space here. There's not. There's nothing here. There's a white space. Do you see how sometimes the candles overlap each other? Here, Stuart and Rob. You see how they're all overlapping? Like there's yeah. um, think of the way fences all overlap. Yeah. So they're not clean. There's like a bit like yeah, yeah overlapping. There, yeah, but the other white space or grey space is yeah. There's, there's no overlap. So therefore, if you know that. Well, if I don't give them too many of these secrets away. There you go. There's your entry. Rob's asked a question. Uh, yeah, I see it. Thank you. Um, and there's various names for these. There's various names for these. I call them FBGs. Or the full name is Fair value gaps. Oh, okay. The other name is imbalance. Why? Because the market is an imbalance. In order to have a seller, 
if you sell selling something, would it make sense you have to have a buyer? Yeah. So that's selling, no buyers. That's selling, no buyers. That's selling, no buyers. Oh, so the okay. market has to come up. And I went up to 50% or just, just whip, whip me on the 50% and decide I've done my job. That's enough for now. And I'm going to drop. Yeah. And again, you're seeing on the right hand side where you just gone, we're seeing, you're saying buyers. So sellers and no buyers? Was it buyers and sellers, sellers? So at some point, yeah. we has to come back to this area. And also mm. right there, it has to come back to there as well. That space. And it just keeps dropping. So when you see things like this, I yeah. call this a 10x gap, a 10x FEG, because I use. I have two methods. One is called 10x, 4x, based on smart money principles. Mm -hmm. Another one, 30-minute trader, and I put a, a software together. It's also based off that. But what we've done it set up that brand new beginners mm -hmm. can use it and understand the market. Nice. So there's four ways to use it. So far, I've only introduced until yesterday two ways. And you see how it just drops up when you have this 10x gap, it just yeah. drops. And you're when you say it that you're feeling excited. You're feeling mm. excited at that point. It just keeps dropping. And then, and then something happens. Okay. Now, any questions, Rob? Any questions, Stuart? The, um, one quick question is kind of related to just the navigation. I notice you can move like in the navigation. There's a plus and minus, a left and right. How do you move up and down? Is it, is it a right? Are you doing like a right yeah. mouse click? Okay, you can do this. Yeah, how do Sometime, I do that? Sometimes I'm just left click, and my and my I'm using, uh, I'm using a mouse pad. So we just um, left click on a mouse and drag up or down. Okay, I think because I'm using, because I'm using the MacBook. I think it's not working, but I'll figure it out. Okay, okay no, no, no. I'm going to show you a little check, a cheat. This is a cheat code. Watch this. Over here, Stuart, see these prices? Yeah. If you're ever struggling with it, just do this. So move the whole thing's moved just a little bit for like a second. Oh, okay. And then do that. And all of a sudden, it frees it up. So if you're struggling, it's not working. Just come up to here. You have a little wiggle, that. then move it. Oh. Have you tried that? You're a genius. Yeah, I've been struggling with this for like since we started this course, a couple of days. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to just make a note of that. Remember the wiggle. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, well, Rob, you said you failed on the uh, back to the one hour and four hour. This is you've only been doing this for two days, and to be fair, I haven't actually shown you anything yet. Um, but if you're happier on the one hour and four hour, please stick to that. Um, and you can do this on the one hour for her, um, so you know. This is very, this is sniper entries, this is what we're doing. But we're starting on the daily, that went then to the hour. If you want to stop at the hour, and the daily or the hour and the four hour, please do so. Yeah, and what, because... What, you said Rob, you can stop at the hour, Rob, whatever it is. Whatever you, Rob, so yeah. is this what you're saying about trade your, you want us to learn how how to trade our way. And that's what you're saying. If that time signature works better for you, go with Absolutely. that. Absolutely. That... Okay. Likes to... He's been trading off this, what he shouldn't have been, because I remember I <laughs> never mentioned anything about trading. We're learning a process. When you learn a process, you have to learn it. But anyway, you see it's now coming up. We have targets here. Right? This is on the hour time frame. This is a target. So look, grey, 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 black candle that candle there on the hour time frame since Rob mentioned it we'll just do this here thank you very much yeah maybe slightly, yeah. slightly different so it actually takes into the bottom of the candle body mm -hmm. the other thing I, I like to do when you ever do anything First, second time, you might not be successful. Well, I know people who trade a much higher time frame than ever, and uh, that, but uh, 
That's what I'm saying. Everybody, I want people to train their way. I show suggestions, insights to the market. And my 30 minute trader software, you can do the exact same. So, Rob, well done to sticking to what you like and what's good for you. Well done. I'm um, now trading. Uh, so I'm not trading nowadays. I just went try four hours. Okay, it's it's difficult when you first start because you have less less time, and people become emotional. If you look at this question, it becomes emotional if you're not used to it. You're rather laid back. It's quite different. So now look at this here. Let's look at this, Stuart. Look at my screen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look at this area here. Watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to do a clip. I'm going to look at that there. Because we're looking for a potential reversal in there okay, yeah. from this. Yeah. So I'm going to go down to the 15 and just see where we're at. See that we typed it. Let's come down to the 5. So this is the thing about sniper entries. I could have been in and out and won the trade already. Do you see that? Oh, wow. I could um, have won that trade already. Because it hit the resistance down. and bounced down. Exactly, bounce a break. So what you do is you do a short. You'd either enter there or there. Mm. Whatever one suits you. There, if you want, once per bar close, it would be there. This would be above there or above there or fifty percent or whatever suits your style. Perhaps Rob has a thirty pip stop loss. Has a fifty pip. I don't know what he's got, but let's just look. There's different approaches. One is you put it above the. I plus the broker spread times two, got that there. If it came down to there, there's 1% profit on that two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine minutes. Bada wow. bing, bada bum. That's really we're, cool. we're now at a danger zone because we have a gray, sorry, we have a black. Yeah. A black candle. And that's the bottom where well, that was the top. We could have potentially gotten earlier. We could have potentially gotten earlier, but let's take it there. Because you yeah. maybe want to see just yeah. in case. The other thing we've got to look, be careful of is this candle here. So that there, if you think about that, the candle right there, the top of that candle, that is exactly what price is now. Mm. That's exactly the top of that candle. Let me try and get it so it's very, very transparent. We take the top of this body, the body. Yeah. That's what price is now. So if you were happy to close the trade there, you could. Now, you see that it's only about 1%. Yeah. One option to do would be to take 50% of that, so you're half a percent in profit, just there. You'd bring, in very software, you'd bring your stop, your stop loss down, so you're half percent in profit. That's because we've analyzed the charts in a higher time frame. We've then said it's coming towards this area of a potential reversal. We've analyzed yeah. it, we went for a sniper entry, we've shot it, we've realized the potential target right there. Yeah. And then we're looking, maybe it'll come down, maybe it'll stop. But we know we've got half a percent. We cannot yeah. lose a trade. We're a half yeah. percent up, no matter what happens here. And when you, like you said, like this box you've just done, um, if, if where it sits now, once the the price drops to the end of the green box. Does the trade automatically close on the software? You can, you can set it with that, yes. You can set it, or you can look at it yourself saying, here's what I'm after. And then now I could say, okay, look, I think it might be still going down a bit. So I'm happy to, you know, ride it out a few more minutes and see. Hypothetically, I said we move the stop loss down to half a percent. Ah, so then, yeah. There. Just and you just leave high. it. I could yeah. have exited it and it been another 1%. I think it was close enough to 1%. Let me just see it at yeah. the bottom. Yeah, it was 1%. Yeah. But I was just showing um, mm. and I need right. a potential warning sign. Yeah. And now so you can see it. it turn, I turn. In advance before it hit the bottom. Warning. And now it's going back up. Yeah. And if it closes up here, guess what? You close and drop about half a percent. Then, drop, yeah, so well you still... Done. If you do half a percent a day, 20 days a month, you pass the prop firm. You get, and if you do two of them, you're funded. Investors give you money to trade with. If you it's do really what good. I just done there, 20 days a month, that's it. Yeah, every day, yeah, you do. It's 10%, isn't it, then, overall in a month? There's some at eight, there's, some eight, but there's a couple at six, actually, uh, but that's trading futures. 
Mm. Um, it's the same rules, same software, same everything. Flags. Mm. Now, look at this. Um, right there. So that our trade would be closed. Yeah. Right? Uh, now, yeah. watch this. Black candle, black candle, black candle. A naughty white candle there. Yeah. And with this up here. So two targets. One is here and one is here. There's also there's a, there's actually something else in here as well. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll put that to the side though. It could carry on because we've got this this big bit of white space here as well. Mm. But if you've done a half percent, one percent a day, this one went to half one percent. Close the computer, walk away, and come back tomorrow. Yeah. Don't be a superstar. I don't train train people to be superstars. I train people. To learn to trade, learn to trade successfully, consistent traders mm. that can pass prop firms if they wish to. Now look at this. If you'd not move your stop loss down, you would have now probably uh, the bracket break even. You wouldn't yeah. be feeling very good, would you? No. So I call the danger reversal. Yeah. There. Yeah. And so the potential there. Or there. Let's see what happens. Is it going to? It could also go up to fifty percent of this, or it could even go mm. above there for some cold liquidity. And now, seeing where it's happening now, would you enter a trade now, or would you wait to see what happens? I'm done. You're done. You got your walk away. done. Nice. I'm, I'm close computer. Walk away. You've got one percent. Don't need any more. Okay, Perfect. But, but hypothetically, if you were looking for a new one, um, I'm not ready for a new one yet. I'm aware yeah, that it's a potential reversal at this area here, but I'm also yeah. aware that it could go up to we've got all this somewhere here. there. Or then yeah, the the line as well. So up to around about there. Yeah. It could, but I'm just very aware of um stuff. So I would, I would have to wait. But I was I was aware there was a rejection off of this because I drew it out in yeah. advance. Remember I exactly. said that I went to the hour time frame? Yeah. Remember I went to the hour time frame? And then we went down to the 15. I went into the zone, down to the five, and we said, let this make this potential trade here, down to the one minute, bang, there you go. Yeah. So questions, learnings, discoveries. It's a short half hours every day, deliberately to keep you focused so you can focus on doing your homework. So today, we showed more on targets, target, mm -hmm. and also potential reversal, and that's exactly what it did. So I'm going to close this here. Final questions uh, for any of the two of you. Um, no questions from me besides homework. What's that? And when's the next? Is the next session Saturday or is it Monday? Um, Monday. Monday. Perfect. Okay, good. I'll make sure. A good chance for everybody to catch up. A good chance for everybody to. Um, I know I sent you a video, it is an advanced video, yeah. it's an hour long, but um, what's that, that to yourself? I know you are oh, you're joining the, the 30 minute trader, uh, uh yeah. which is you will love it, mate. You absolutely love it, yeah. I'm, I'm really, I mean, this Jeff has really helped me. I think as I was, I was messaging my son last night to say, actually, this, this has really helped me in terms of ready for the, the next month's course for the 30 minute trader, because it's just some insights, just to mean, it's just starting me thinking differently. So thank you. Yeah. What's that? Raw, uh, Rob said, do we need paid a free version of trading view to use your software? Free. You, uh, you don't need a paid version of trading view. You just need to pay yeah. me for my software or me for my mentoring. So I have two programs, Rob. If people want to come along, this is free. This, this free five days is always free. It's it's aimed at the complete beginners to help them make a decision if trading is not for them or trading is for them. Rather than people invest in something and realize it's not for them, give them a few pointers. Help people get used to my voice. Does my voice, my style suit them? So I think I've been pretty transparent. To get the software, if you wish, uh, there's a monthly fee for it, or you can get mentoring, and there's a monthly fee, and the software comes with that.
Uh, Rand discussed that here. Just send me a private message if you, if you, if you wish. Okay. But the free version of Trading View works fine. Yeah, that's what I've got. But it does when you first sign up, it kind of you get a bit confused. It's like, choose this plan, but you just have to ignore that, isn't it, Jeff? And then, yeah. And Rob, Rob, thanks very much for keep asking the questions. Um, I appreciate that, your input. So I'm going to say thank you, Rob. Thank you, Stuart. The weekend, you, Rob, please go, go and review these. If you do like the hour, see how, what I did is use the hour mm -hmm. to notice that Rob likes the hour. I used that, and then I dropped so I can get a tighter sniper entry. Yeah. That, that was the reason for it. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you all at top. You too. Thank you.